Benetti, a name that has launched a thousand ships and inspired a million dreams and aspirations. The beauty of their designs have attracted an enviable following of yacht owners, and the fact that these yacht owners keep coming back for more reveals that that beauty is not just skin deep. And without a doubt, one of the most successful models of this highly successful yacht builder is the 37 meter Benetti Classic. There's something about the proportions, the styling, the amenities of this yacht that just leaves you thinking, what more could I ever want from a motor yacht? This particular yacht is called African Queen, but you tell me what you think as we look at her decks, her interior, and the performance of this astonishing vessel. Starting with the sun deck, an African Queen offers a very open and relaxing space in which to soak in some rays. A forward facing seating area forward, melee barbecue station to starboard, and a sunbathing area aft, leaving a central space that's perfect to add a dining table to, or simply to use for your morning workout. Moving down to the upper deck though, we find the place that most guests will enjoy dining. You may wonder why there are two dining tables here, but actually, if you have children and their friends with you on vacation, the possibility of eating at separate tables, but in the same space, is often appreciated by adults and kids alike. Down further still, and we come to the main aft deck, with sumptuous seating and a low coffee table, just made to sit and enjoy the scenery whilst at anchor or underway. To finish the presentation of the decks though, I really wanted to show you this area at the bow. It's not particularly an area for the guests, but it's just so convenient and practical to have a Portuguese bridge like this. I was watching the crew earlier as they were lowering the anchor and it was so convenient for them to be able to just scamper down to the bow, to the winches, back up to the bridge again without having to go down side decks, up more steps, through side doors. It's a great solution. Now though, Let's take a look at the interior of the yacht. And to do that, I'm going to make a very YouTube-y transition. And we're going to start with the Sky Lounge. In fact, we'll be working from the top down on this particular yacht. And when you're buying a yacht like this, you really need to think about how you intend to use it. Obviously, a lot of the time, people enjoy spending outside on the deck or in the water. But there's a fair amount of time that you want to be with your family inside as well. And it's not always the case that everybody wants to be doing the same thing at the same time. So to have a sky lounge like this, as comfortable and as spacious as this, is really useful thing to have on your yacht. As you can see, you've got comfortable seating area, this really nice sized bar here. And actually it's very easy for the stewardesses to be able to come in and out and serve from here. They even have a dumb waiter which can serve snacks and, and such like coming up and down from the galley while you sit here with your family, enjoying your time. And the other feature that you may not have noticed is through this door here where there's actually a very elegant day head and even a shower cubicle in there. This is just a beautifully appointed, incredibly well looked after part uh, of the yacht. Another thing I particularly like as well is this contrasting dark parquet, which really sets off the beautiful limed oak of the cabinetry. So this is the Sky Lounge. Let's go down and take a look at the main lounge. Now here, once again, we have this beautiful limed oak and it does seem such a really spacious area. Something I particularly want to point out is this feature here. Here we have the stairwell down to the guest accommodation, but with many of the Benetti Classics, they were built where this was an entire floor to ceiling partition. Uh, some people like that. Personally, I prefer this because it opens up the entire area. It's still perfectly safe. Children can't fall down here. Great access down to the cabins but gives such more open feel to the whole lounge area. Again, you have a really lovely bar and something the Italians are so good at is the design here. This is so beautifully thought out, well designed, not over the top, nothing ostentatious about that, just a really pleasant piece of furniture. And again, we have all of these lovely, comfortable, modern looking seats, 
So you can really sit back here and just relax, and watch the pop-up television to see the Formula One. Moving forward, we'll take a look at the owner's stateroom. And just before you get to the stateroom, worth noting a very useful day head for your guests to be able to benefit from. We walk through this study area here. I say a study area. Of course, it's another place for somebody to, be able to sit and put their lipstick on in the morning or just sit there with a computer. Very ample wardrobe space there. Plenty of room to be able to hang your clothes, keep your, keep your socks. But this is really where the stateroom comes into its own. Not all of the Benetti Classics have quite this arrangement. Some of them have the bed underneath the windows. Personally, I find that this is a much more spacious appearance. Probably the floor space is exactly the same on the two layouts, I'm not sure, but this certainly gives an appearance of more space in the cabin. Plenty of room to walk around. A nice television set here that pops up that you, can, uh, that you can watch from your bed. Another little table here. Maybe you could put your eyeshadow on there lipstick on in that one over there or work from your computer and just look at this for an absolutely magnificent ensuite bathroom with white marble and a very good well-proportioned shower what about your guests though where are they going to stay on board well let's take a look And here really Benetti gives a masterclass into the excellence of simplicity of yacht design. Four staterooms down here, very simple layout, very popular and very practical layout. Here we have two single bunk staterooms on either side. This one has a Pullman bunk in it as well for the extra accommodation. Very lovely design. Again, this beautiful limed oak, which really lightens up this area below deck. Here's an interesting feature. I thought that this was a little chest of drawers. Actually, it's not. That gives you access to your AV system. And here there's a panel that folds out so you can use that as a little work surface if you wish to as well. But don't think that means that you don't have enough storage in here because under the beds, there are these deep drawers that fold out, giving you loads of storage space. Even these here and also here, give you extra storage and once again there's this beautiful elegant white marbled bathroom that's en suite. Now as I mentioned earlier the other cabin on the port side is pretty much identical to that one. Here we have storage which the crew will find very useful for keeping linen and towels and such like. And then forward We have these two wonderful double staterooms. And I must say that when I walked into this stateroom for the first time, I really did think if I was a guest on board this yacht, I certainly wouldn't be disappointed to be staying here. It looks so comfortable. The space is absolutely perfect. Everything that you could possibly need. Again, lots of storage space, both here, drawers here, hanging locker here. And again, that lovely, bathroom with that beautiful white Italian marble. So this is where the guests will stay. We've already seen where the owner stays, which hopefully will be your good self. Now let's take a look at the crew areas on board. And we'll start the presentation of the crew areas on board here at the bridge. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video what a well-proportioned yacht the Benetti Classic is. And this is a great example of this. The size here is perfect. There was five crew members here earlier in the day, all chatting. I was kind of poking my head around from behind their 
to, to have a quick chat with them as well. And there was plenty of space. There's a seating area, there's this small desk here for somebody to put their computer on. The captain has excellent visibility all the way around, and this really is impressive visibility. And of course, he has all the essential instruments, so you can see the radar, the GPS, the closed circuit television, and he has, of course, control here of the zero speed stabilizers, the throttles, the bow thruster, and so on. My favorite part of the crew area, though, comes next. And that has to be the galley. And this galley has special significance for me because we had lunch on board today and it was fantastic. Was it fantastic? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, there were about five of us sitting around this uh, table here. We had an amazing lunch, really was superb, cooked from this galley here. And you can tell that this is the kind of a galley that a professional chef like they have on board right now can really use to the full. Really large, wide Siemens uh, oven there for catching fish and to be able to put in there a secondary oven by Miele here, a Miele um, hob as well. Plenty of storage space behind Slava. There's refrigeration space as well with fridges. It really is a perfectly equipped galley for this sized yacht. And once again, perfectly in proportion with the size of the vessel. This really does follow on the theme of what a well-proportioned yacht this is. Here in the crew quarters, behind me, we have a, a proper laundry room there with two washers, two dryers, and an area as well to hang the clothes, uh, which is very convenient for the crew. To either side of me, there are crew cabins, uh, the engineer's cabin, the stewardess's cabin with two bunks in each one. Behind Slava, who's filming another two cabins up in the bow of the yacht, each one with their own ensuite head. But all of the beauty of the interior decor, the elegance and practicality of the deck space would be of no use at all if the yacht performed badly. So here are some technical details that you may find interesting. African Queen is propelled to a maximum speed of 16 knots and a cruising speed of 13 by two MTU 2000 series engines. Early models of this yacht do not include zero speed stabilizers, but this model was designed and engineered to include them. It's a significant advantage on board. And because I know that many viewers are curious about the range and the fuel consumption on these yachts, I can tell you that at 12 knots, she has a range of about 3,300 nautical miles. And if you slow down to 1,350 RPM, you'll consume just 45 liters an hour per engine, which will reach just over 11 knots. The fuel tank holds 44,000 liters, by the way. Remarkably, this morning when we left port, I filmed a quick video on my phone and I posted it on Instagram stories. Well, within moments, somebody contacted me who had a genuine interest in this yacht and in fact have an appointment to come and view her. You know who you are, thanks for the direct message. And that's what qualified viewers do and what they need to do. They need to come on board, take a look around, feel the quality, feel the sense of space on board talk to such an enthusiastic crew who are passionate about the maintenance work they've done to keep this yacht looking so amazing. Added to that, she's represented by a broker who, in my opinion, is one of the most knowledgeable and reliable in the industry. And so if you would like an appointment to view this yacht, it's his contact details that are on screen now.